Yo, bucko, it's Zero, coming back to you with another figure review, and today it's Imperial N Monday, number five, and today we have, well, it's a figure not so many people like. Personally, I really like it, and I'll get into why later on. It's the Black Series 40th Anniversary, Empire Strikes Back, Carbonized Darth Vader, and damn, I didn't think I would actually get this figure, or at least I didn't think I would be getting it now. It was supposed to come out what in June I believe originally then got pushed back to December then got pushed up to July then delayed it for me till August and come the day when they were supposed to ship it out in August it got delayed yet again till September then last week said it would ship out on Wednesday lo and behold got delayed again then showed up that same weekend so this release has been a mess for me at least now I'm having troubles with my Han Solo Carbonite figure. So we'll see if that is actually coming in for me now. Anyways, that's a video for a different time. Let me stop ranting and normally I give a little insight on the figure, but I'm gonna get him out of the box first before I do that. So let's take a look at the sexy box. Alright, and this is a really special box. Of course your carbonized box, so man that is awesome. Alright, so your front of the box, you got your carbonized logo. You got the Empire Strikes Back. I thought that was a sticker, but it's actually not a sticker. You got your Star Wars Black Series logo as always. You got your Vader. He's a little harder to see, but yeah, he's there. Then the side of the box, it's silver. Wow, they beat that to shit. Good thing I'm not an inbox collector. Just says Vader back of the box says once a heroic Jedi Knight Darth Vader was seduced by the dark side of the force became a Sith Lord and led the Empire's eradication of the Jedi Order yeah that's that's pretty accurate yep yeah. side of the box says Darth Vader or Darth Val yeah Darth Val all right top of the box it's uh just the bluish black on the box is unreadables and an Amazon code, so that's cool. And it's gonna kill me a little bit opening such a pretty shiny, shiny box. But I'm very eager to get this figure out of the box, so let's do that. And here he is out of the box, and holy crap, this is an awesome figure. Like, I don't have the new Vader yet, but this is an awesome Vader and now I kind of can't wait to get that one because this looks awesome but I have another idea for this I have that other Vader coming in so he's gonna get a review but basically this is the same exact as that figure that's about to come out in the Empire Strikes Back 40th wave wave 3 and also this new wave with the new boxes and yeah he just looks amazing I know a lot of people don't really like the blue or are confused about the figure being blue but I'll talk about why I really like the blue after I show off his accessories and he only comes with one accessory and that is his lightsaber and this is also done in the carbonized blue color and that this is just sexy honestly I, I really like this a lot but I actually want to try something alright so this looks pretty awesome there's only one problem though I I thought for sure this would have been easy enough to just swap out a blade with another figure because like most of these lightsabers have the same pegs or at least I thought but yeah, this is just off of one of my Luke Skywalkers. I have no idea which one at this point. I think it's from the X-Wing Luke. I'm not sure though. But I thought it would just be easy to plug it in, but it wasn't that easy, but whatever. Anyways, swapped him out. I have plenty of other Lukes, so I might use this. But if you haven't figured it out by now, the reason I really like this figure is... It looks like the concept art from Ralph McQuarrie, and honestly, I might have to display him like this 
because man, this looks awesome. Now if you don't know what the concept art from Mount Ralph McQuarrie is, I'll throw it up on screen. It's a picture of Vader versus Starkiller, which was like the original Luke. And this is pretty badass. I hope we get some concept figures in the Black Series line down the line. But for now, this is pretty cool. Now personally, I really, really like this kind of unique colors they gave Vader and the Stormtrooper. It makes them look unique and stand out. Honestly, I wish they would do that more because, well, as far as I'm concerned, some of the carbonized figures are boring and passable. Hell, the only reason I bought the carbonized Mando is because I couldn't get a regular one. Skipped out on all the other ones, so including Boba. So yeah. Anyways, moving on, let's take a closer look at him. He's a beautiful figure. Alright, so taking a closer look at him, got a lot of blue here. Like a lot of blue. <laughs> this is a really nice figure. Um, Mine is a little, like, it's a little chip on the side. It's not really a big deal. I'm probably going to have him like that so you won't even be able to see him. But that's kind of unfortunate. Um. Man, his head moves really good compared to the other Vader. Like, damn. I really like that, actually. Um, even his cape is kind of bluish. I like that. Alright, and this is the Empire Strikes Back Vader. So, it's a lot... It's the version of Vader that most people are familiar with. The A New Hope slash... Uh, Rogue One Vader is the only other Vader they have in this line that actually looks good. So this is the first Empire Strikes Back Vader that actually looks good besides the Emperor's Wrath Vader. And I would say this helmet is just a reuse of the other helmet, but this actually moves well compared to the other helmet, so I don't know about that. Um... Yeah, you just got a lot of blue on this figure. Um, God, this figure is awesome. Shoulder plates come down off the back. Got a lot of cloth goods on him too. Man, this figure is dope. Yeah, um, I'm going to pull up my other Vader because I feel like it's Vader. You know what he looks like. It's blue. I feel like I can do a little better showing off some of the differences here. Alright, and yeah, you can definitely tell this is a whole nother Vader because, I mean, look, if you're going to tell this is the blue before, now you definitely can. Um, the helmet is slightly different, I think. Yeah, it's like, yeah, you could tell a few differences. Oh my god, that's stiff. <laughs> yeah, you don't get any movement there. This, damn, this looks good. Like, this looks good. I can't wait to get the uh, actual Vader now. Yeah, so the main differences on the Vaders are, I think these, yeah, these are, um, they're kind of like boots are like the same exact thing, and then your hands are like pretty much the same exact thing. <laughs> but the helmet is different, uh, I think this is slightly wider, and then this also has the red eyes. And the only other real differences are um, this chest plate is like the same, but the buttons are completely different. That's the blue box. That's the green box. Um, pretty sure these buttons are almost exactly the same. There's better paint detail on these ones, though. And then the only difference, other difference that I know of is this goes over the chest plate the soft goods this goes under it 
So they just did the costume like completely different in the next movie. Also, I thought he was supposed to have a chain. I wonder if the other figure is going to have the chain. Actually, I wonder why he doesn't have the chain. That's interesting. Huh. Am I tripping? Does he even have a chain? Alright, anyways. Let's show off the articulation of this guy. So his head moves so well. Oh, like, this is so much better. So much better. The other one literally just moves like this. This, this, you get a whole range of movement. Because it's like hollow in there. So I'm pretty sure... Oh, even the neck moves. So yeah, it's like a ball joint. Another ball joint and the neck moves. So that's awesome. Yeah, even there's even a sculpted piece for the neck. Wow, this is a good ass figure. All right, and then you got your hinge and swivel. Is there a butterfly joint? Oh my god, there's a butterfly joint in there. There's a whole butterfly joint in there. Wow. You got a hinge and swivel and a butterfly joint, but the articulation is kind of hindered by the armor. Ooh, that did not like that. I will not be doing that again. And I bent it. Yeah, don't do what I just did. Um, got a hinge and swivel at the elbow. Hinge and swivel at the wrist. So moves. What the hell? Does he even move? Yeah, it does. Uh, this one's super stiff, so I'm not going to mess with that. Um, same thing on the other side. This one's also stiff, but yeah, it moves left to right. Um, then you got a ball joint at the torso, but you can't really move it too much. Um, your leg goes forward that much. It goes back. Ooh, and then you have a really well-hidden well thigh swivel. Hell, I wouldn't have even noticed that. That's really well-hidden. You got a, yep, double jointed knee. He kicks his back. Got long legs, holy crap. Okay, so he can't kick his own ass, but he can kick his back, so. Then he has a hinge at the ankle, and then a forward facing pin for rocker. Pretty standard stuff. That's nice with the butterfly joints. I wasn't expecting that for some reason. Because I was like, there's too much going on here. But yeah, the butterfly joints are nice, but they don't really help. I'm glad they're adding them, though. But yeah, this helmet articulation is so much better. Um, Alright, let's pose this guy.
But now we're going to show him off next to some other figures. And here he is next to a new Hope Vader. And here he is next to Bespin Luke. And here he is next to Cal Kestis. And here he is next to the original Black Series Stormtrooper. And here he is next to Boba and the Mandalorian. And finally, here he is next to Luke Skywalker Squawker. And this Vader was definitely worth the pickup for me. If you're an inbox collector, it has a beautiful box that will stand out in your collection. And if you're out of box collector like me and you like the color, I'd say pick it up if you can. It's a beautiful figure and I'm enjoying it a ton. And honestly, I'm glad it finally came in. I'm starting to doubt if I was actually going to get this thing or if I did, if it was going to be worth waiting that long at that point. But it's definitely worth the wait for me. Anyways, you can bring them in warm or you can bring them in cold. Good hunting. Thanks for watching and move along.